okay in this next video we are going to submit our configured iTree Streets project to the server and then pull that configuration into a smartphone that we are going to use for data collection. So the first step I'm going to do, I have my project open and it's all configured. I'm going to select tools, work with mobile. This opens up a dialog box called Streets Mobile Manager. These steps are also described in the Streets Manual on page 30. I will select next. You can see that there is nothing here. This will look different once we have data in the project. You'll actually see trees and you'll be able to send data back to a device if you wanted it to be updated. Right now we're just going to select next since this is our initial time moving through this. I'll put in my email address here. You're also required to enter a password and you'll need this when you want to retrieve data. What this is going to do is create a unique key on the server that's associated with your project. This will be held in one of the underlying database tables that allows it to communicate between the server and field devices. So remember that password, write that down somewhere because you will need that later. And then I'm going to select finish. So I now have a emulator of my Samsung smartphone that I'm displaying and after I submitted that project on the desktop it then sends that configuration to the server. What happens is the email that you specify is where the hyperlink or the unique key associated with your project goes. So what you want to do is if you send that email to yourself and you are working with multiple people then you'll just need to redistribute that email with that hyperlink in there. So this is what it looks like. It just says iTree data collection link and I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So once you open that email up you'll see the link here. So I will just go ahead and click that. And this will render the mobile forms in my web browser. If you've used the data collection system before, you might get this message letting you know that this key that you're now loading doesn't match the last one that you were just using. So this is telling me that I'm changing projects and that's because I was doing some other testing or working or so forth. Initially you won't see this. So just make sure that when you hit yes, you realize that you're loading in a new key if you're changing projects. And then you're ready to go. We will look at this in more detail in the next video.